Black on black always looking crispy. What's going on YouTube? Your boy Snoopy is back again uh, with another one from Harvey's. Now, I'm excited about this because here in Canada, there's a staple that we call poutine, right? So this is what I got. I got a poutine, but not just any regular poutine. This is, uh, they have three different flavors now. So it looks like this. That thumbnail. This is the spicy chicken poutine. So it has... I don't know how they season it, but this their version of spicy chicken pieces cut up. Of course, you got the cheese curds, fries, and gravy. And I'm hungry. This looks bomb. So I'm gonna. This is like a food review, plus my dinner time. So, all right. And then I got a little information and news to give to you guys. All right. So let's get into this spicy chicken poutine hair at Harvey's. <laughs> Damn. That is bomb. You know who just popped in my head right now? Gora Ramsey. She did a um She did a poutine video. And um This tastes like buffalo chicken. Mmm. No, that's bomb. It's already spicy, but let me just see how it is with the top of the deal. So I hope everybody's having a blessed and safe and fun um Carabana, so happy Carabana. Mm. The things we go through to get those good thumbnails, man. This is a throwback Pepsi, man. <clears throat> I remember these cans when I was a kid. This is like the original can or something like that. Well, at least original for me from what I remember. So a regular basic poutine is fries, picked up fries, um, cheese curds, and gravy. It tastes better, of course, if you use the quality stuff. So if y'all gonna make this, use good stuff. Ooh, look at that shit! Look at that. Bomb with that tap too, too. Hey, look at this weird looking motherfucker. Look, look, look at this fool. What the, who the fuck is he? <laughs> this dude. Looks like a Jerry Ramirez or some shit. It's a weird look. I always look at this dude and go, that's a weird looking fool. Looks like a puppet. <clears throat> anyway. Look like a slave owner that put on a friggin' sombrero and shit. Try to pose like he Mexican. <laughs> mm. But y'all, this food is bomb. This this poutine. I don't know what day this is gonna be uploaded, but I mentioned Carabana earlier, so that's a 
West Indian Caribbean festival of music. People running around with barely anything on draws. I'm talking about like barely anything on. Grinding, bumping, eating food, hooking up, drinking. So it's right now. So earlier today was the parade. So you dress up in a costume, right? Represent your island. Called playing mass. I don't do that shit. I guess there's a winner, like a king and a queen. But it's basically a Caribbean freak fest. And all that's hanging out is titties, ass, thighs, <clears throat> slim girls, thick girls, hell of big girls that ain't got no business wearing no. G strings and shit out there just bouncing. But they're out there having a good time. A hell of people come from the States and the islands, of course. So look it up. It's called Carabana. So the parade was today. Then most folks, like <clears throat> when I used to fly out from Cali to here to come to Carabana. Around now, yeah, from like four, five ish, head back to the hotel or wherever you're staying. Have a nap, get up, pound some Tylenol, some Advil, have a shower, get ready again, change your clothes. And then we go pre drink. Until about 10.30, between 10.30 and 11-ish, because you don't want to go out too early, right? Clubs, the nightlife really starts popping between like 11.45 and 12, a little after 12. But Toronto, certain spots of Brampton, Mississauga, but especially Toronto's going to be packed tonight, y'all. And there's hella police out there, so don't drink and drive, be safe, don't don't drive too fast due to speed limit because they have checkpoints everywhere. I hit one just going to work. And he was just looking in the car, make sure everybody everything was cool. Make sure you're wearing a seatbelt. That's it. Don't look like much, but this thing is bomb. Taste of the damn for <clears throat> this is a food street festival that's coming up soon, so I want to attend that. Speaking of damn for we just had I don't know if it was 14 or 16 people shot, eight people I think passed away. Not sure, I, I'm probably definitely wrong, but. Excuse me. But, man, this world is crazy, man. So, you got to be careful what you do. But then, this was unexpected, man. This is a, It's a Greek area in Toronto on the Danforth, right? Very well-known place. A lot of spots, the good food spots to eat it. People bring their families out there. You're walking and stuff, you know? Nobody's, nobody's worried about anything, right? It's Canada, for fuck's sake. I mean, so... This fucking weird idiot just starts blasting fools, right? So it's in the area that they have this this festival. I don't know. Some people are just straight up fucked.
Can in and needs to crack down more on the screening though, man. Letting all these fools in. Come over here and They're all sleeping like all up in the college dorms and <clears throat> us us Canadian taxpayers, we're paying for the the hotels and all this other stuff for our tax money. It's just ridiculous, you know what I mean? And then we, but it's so easy to come to Canada, but we need to crack down on that because us Canadians that are from here or anywhere that you're born at or whatever, like the people of that land should and must come first before anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. Then you're going to get pissed off Canadians. Because you can't be like, oh, have a heart. Have a heart, my goddamn ass. These fools are fleeing from a war country. All right? Now, as long as we get what we need to get first, then we'll help. But be careful who you help, too, because we don't want none of that bullshit here in Canada. We don't want to get involved in none of that shit. Look. Y'all want to jump out of sand dunes and shit and just freaking just start shooting up the sky, the moon, the stars and shit. Keep that bullshit over there where you at. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring that shit here. Alright? And start going crazy and shit and just blasting innocent people and shit, walking up and down the street, minding their own damn business. You fucking crazy. Dumb shit. A lot of pissed off Canadians right now, I'll tell you that. And then another census killing was that stuff for um, that happened in the Bronx not too long ago, what, three, four, five weeks ago? Um, they call him Junior. Uh, Justice for Junior was murdered by a whole bunch of quote-unquote gangsters. There was a bunch of little punk kids that thought they were hard and listened to this new stupid music. They set him up. Some girl set him up. And he apparently looked like the guy that they were going after. It's the guy that had sex was just like, I don't know, smashing guts with some broad. And then they saw the tape. So the girl set him up. This kid, Junior. 15 years old, man. And the girl was like, you know, she needs five dollars for something to eat or whatever. He was known for being such a cool kid and ran home asked his mom for five dollars, right? He's in Puerto Rico. Anyway, whatever. Came back, you know, to help out. They rushed him. Came out of it with, like, knives and choppers and shit, like machetes or whatever. And started, like, slicing him. And he ran into the store. I'm freestyling this uh, information that I that I heard about. Because I have the news article right here. Ran into the store. Try to hide, but they found him. And then they dragged him out. If they have the video, I can't watch the video. I see pieces of it, and that just gets me more pissed off. And they cut that boy up, man. Cut him up bad. He died. He ran. He tried to run to the hospital, and he fell down and bled out. And then he died, either at the hospital or on the way. So. So I think they got all those little, those little bitch ass fools. And from what I heard, that they're in jail and shit, just scared, crying, scared little bitch now, huh? Up in there with some real killers. So you reap what you sow, partner. Little boys. I tell you what. For every evil and <clears throat> negative act, judgment does come back around. The Most High will get you sooner or later, and he'll get you in ways that's very unexpected. Mother Nature don't play that shit. All right? So they're going to get theirs, unless they're getting theirs now. So I tell you like this, boys. <clears throat> if there's such thing as booty hole push-ups to try to, you know, build muscle inside your asshole, better start working on that, partner, because you're going to get some real killers that know all about this kid right here. Got the story and everything. They just waiting for the CO to let you get caught slipping, boy. And that gate open up. Wherever the hell it is you is. Wherever you at. And uh, <clears throat> be prepared to experience things that you would never think you would experience before in your life, partner. 
Because there's worse things than death. And whatever wickedness or punishment and torture comes your way, including death, every single one of y'all that was involved in this murder deserves it. Straight up. And yeah, that mother has to go and bury her son. Her child, 15 years old. Innocent child, mistaken identity. Because of some no set happen ass, no banging ass, wannabe click. Pussified. Little punks. So, I'm excited to know what punishment is coming for y'all. Super, I'm thrilled. I'm seeing it in my head. And I can't wait to hear about it too. Because I'm going to go to the store, I'm gonna grab me some drink, go live and celebrate that shit. Justice for Junior. And my condolences go out to your family. Junior's mom, sorry, I don't know your name right now. I don't have time to go and look it up right now. I just want to say that the mother of the 15-year-old from the Bronx that was innocently chopped up and murdered and has had his young life taken from us and from you and his family and his sister at such a young age, my heart and my prayers go out to you. And um, I want to say that if you're ever, you're not that far away from here, but you're, if, if you're ever in Canada, my doors are open. You ever want to come by and meet with us? That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that your family is welcome here with my family for anything. Just to even come by and just to have some peace of mind and have somebody to talk to. We're that type of family. So I want to, um, I want to say that I'm very, um, upset and sad for what happened to your family but i know this for sure and, and i don't speak as a religious person because i don't get down with religion i don't get down with all this man-made philosophy i know that the spirit of the most high is great and that he put a special type of life force within this flesh that never dies it's called energy it's called your spirit it's called your soul and innocent souls like that go straight to the to the creator straight they go straight to the creator what he does, what they do after, we'll find out whenever that time is right. But energy never dies. So Junior is only gone in the flesh. Just like my grandfather and whoever in my family's passed on and all other loved ones that lived positive lives that were uh, welcomed into that realm will continue living and knowing who they are as they're living on that energy in that other realm. So rest assured with that. <clears> that he's going to be in paradise <clears throat> until the Son of Man comes and specially greets him probably hugging him right now you know so keep your head up mom all right and sis and 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 whoever else that he was living with at the family there in new york um and i got you guys in, in my prayer okay and if you ever want to reach out to me you can reach me here on my channel my instagram snoopy eats as well you can you can message me um i'm gonna try to get a hold of hold of you guys too so um my condolences and my love and prayers go out to you you and your family This is filling. So, that's a little bit of news I wanted to put out for you guys, just to kind of catch up with what's been going on here on this side of the world. Always got to stay positive, man. Pray for others. Do good stuff, man. Do righteous. Live righteous. Life is too short to be with all this bullshit. You got to stay connected with good people. And cherish life while you have it because you never know when it's your time to go you know what i mean or somebody else's time or somebody could be suffering with something so my prayers go out to those who need it if you need prayers hit me up i don't mind praying for you i did a hour and a half prayer this morning all right so anyway that was my um news and my information that was my review on um that spicy chicken poutine which was bomb from harvey's So next time, stay blessed, stay positive, and stay focused, all right? Love y'all. Peace.